Hi, it's Tim coming again from another episode of Coffee Geek TV. Here I am today reviewing the Nestle Dolce Gusto by Krups. Now, generally, I'm not a big fan of these pod machines because I'm a specialty coffee fan, but it so happens that I'm here in Seville, Spain, and the only option I have for coffee first thing in the morning is this Krups machine. So, hey, why not give it a try? Now, under first impressions, I'm actually quite impressed with this machine being a pod style coffee machine because of its simplicity and how easy it is to use. So I'd like to start by a couple of the good features that this has that uh, this, it, it's quite stylish, it's quite a good looking type of machine, but also like a, you know, the nice red core, that caught my eye straight away. But just some of the easy things that, that come with this machine is, is one thing is this particular water module on the back, how easy you can just pull that off like so and just fill it up from the back. And now it could be a little bit of a hassle trying to get the, uh, the nozzle of your of your tap or whatever you're using to pour water into it. That's the only downside I see of that. But then it slides in quite easily at the back of the machine like so. Now coming around to the, the side of the machine here, all it has is one button right here. And you just turn this button on like so, and it just flashes red like this until it goes green when it's ready to go. And while that's warming up, I'd just like to bring your attention to this particular feature here. All this has is this this lever that goes either uh, flicks over, like so for hot water or for cold water. So this is actually pumping out cold water at the moment, but otherwise if you go red, once the pot is in there, it's ready to go, um, once, once the light is green. But to change pods, all you need to do is pull this lever up, like so, and then pull this tray out. And then you can see there's the previous pot in there that was made. Now, I believe this machine doesn't, not only, you can also get these not just in the Nestle brand, but you can go to also other brands that have just mimicked or shall I say knocked off the original Nestle. But you just pop the pot in like so, maybe you give it a clean if it's necessary, but you just drop the pot in like so, slide it in, and then push the lever down. Simple as that. Now, before I actually get into that, I will get my cup. Usually what I do with my cups is I like to heat them up. But just for the case of demonstrations, I'll just carry on. Now you can come around to the side here. The light is now yellowy, greenish sort of color. As you can see, so it's ready to go. So then all we need to do now is pop this into the red area, like so, and then off she goes. done just flick the lever off and there you have it a cup of coffee now these uh, particular pods come in all sorts of ranges of flavors this one here is not exactly one I particularly like but it's a cup of coffee when you need to get caffeinated in the morning and I actually think this is a great machine if you just want a quick cup of coffee in the morning especially when you need it in a hurry when you need to go to work just need something tasty on the road this is a great machine for it Anyway, that's my thoughts on the Nestle Dolce uh, Gusto by Krups. Um, I hope you enjoyed this interview. I hope you got something out of it. Please leave a nice comment below on this video or in this blog post. I'd appreciate your thoughts. But otherwise, that's Tim coming again from another episode of Coffee Geek TV. See you in the next.